New at 6, local firefighters say they are concerned now that Prop 64 has passed. They are worried about the extra risk involved in fighting marijuana fires. Good evening, I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Adrienne Moore. The Sacramento Fire Department tells us they're concerned about their safety. CBS 13's Elisa Becerra is live with both sides. Elisa. That's right. You know, I spoke with a union representative today who says, you know, what this really means for the fire department is yet to be determined. They've already dealt with illegal uh, pot grows, and now that this prop has passed, they're really concerned about what this means for the future of their job and the aspect of danger where it's concerned. December 6th. A house fire in South Sacramento turns into a dangerous obstacle course. This video was taken by a firefighter's helmet cam. You can hear firefighters struggling against reinforced bars over windows and doors, as well as additional locks and chains and a solid wood covering on the inside. Why? Firefighters say it appeared to be a pot grow, part of a growing problem. What we don't know is all the chemicals that are inside because it's a grow operation, the heavy electrical. Uh, remodel or rewiring that takes place, that's a huge hazard to our members. Roberto Padilla says with the passing of Proposition 64, legalizing recreational growing of marijuana, things could get far worse for firefighters if they're not given additional funds to help fight pot grow fires, legal and illegal alike. But moving forward, how is the fire department more than anything going to take advantage of that tax that's going to be revenued uh, and how is that going to help uh, augment the service because this is adding additional workload to our members. JJ Pay of S2S Insurance Services ensures legal pot grows and says the trend is moving towards very legitimate operations away from home. Some of these grows go up in the hundreds of thousands of dollars, so they're going to want to make sure they do it right and do it correctly and be here to sustain for years on end. He says the stakes are high. Commercial spaces right now looking for dispensaries, looking for any opportunity they can to expand and get out of that home situation. Still, Padilla insists without more funding, firefighters will continue to encounter this budding industry and a growing level of danger. Now, I did call several various city offices today to try to get some answers. And basically what I was told is they're still trying to work out the logistics of how this will play out. And until they get that set, they won't be able to have an answer for firefighters at this juncture. So this is going to be one of those cases of wait and see. Back to you. Hurry up and wait game for sure. All right, Elisa Becerra reporting live for us tonight. Thanks.